I'm here at Mike's uh, Black Magic Painting and my parts are done. Meerkat. I want to ask Mike a couple questions about how is it candy apple process paint, painting is different than other painting? Basically, you have a ground coat mm -hmm. and then you have a mid coat that goes over the top of that. It's basically the same concept as food coloring. If you were to put red dye in a bowl of water, the more you put in, the more red it gets. It's the same concept with a candy. The more amount of coats you apply over the top of your ground coat, the darker the color is going to get. So, on, on this, for example, on this paint uh, job, uh, how many coats of paint is there? There is three coats of base and then three coats of the mid. And then there is three coats of clear on the parts that have no gold leaf, six coats of clear on the parts that do. Some of the parts actually got stripped down uh -huh. um, to repair the damaged areas, but some of them just feathered out around the dents and removed the dents and then reprimed that area. So yes, did did paint over some of the existing paint job, but not all pieces. Okay. Say so for example, in this gas tank, how many coats of paint total would you say is on that? Because it's got, got to go leaf on it. Three base, three mid, and then you've got six coats of clear. And then there's a little bit of primer. I actually just spot primed it. I didn't prime the whole tank because there was only the couple of small dents where the badge was at. Yeah. Uh, you don't see candy apple uh, painting generally out in the um, automotive world too much anymore except for custom stuff. Right. Is that because it's a lot harder to do or is this more expensive? A um, little bit of both, actually. I mean, there's a lot of people that claim that they don't want to do a tri-stage paint job because it's tough to touch up if something ever goes wrong and then there's some people that I guess you could say just aren't knowing how to necessarily do it but yeah no the cost of the paint can actually get really expensive fast <laughs> <laughs> youtubers will know what I mean when I'd say uh, it's getting frustrating I got a real good explanation from Mike about how the gold leafing was done but unfortunately I lost that to the best of my memory here's what he said how mine was done they had for the, um, they put uh, a little adhesive down, then they put the gold leafing down over it for the, for, on, like on the gas tank, on the, in the pinstriping where you see that. Then it goes back and puts a black pinstripe beside that. Then it's clear coated by Mike. On the, for where the triumph is on the front and on the back, what they do is they have a stencil. They put the stencil down, put a little adhesive on that, uh, then put the gold leaf down, then remove the uh, the stencil. Then they clear coat over that. The difference is you'll see on the gold leaf, you can look closely, I don't know if I got a good enough picture, but what you'll see is on the pinstriping, there's some turning, there's a turn, a machine turn on that, but it is not on the uh, triumph on the on the gas tank and on the tail section. Sorry if I lost that mic, but uh, that's what happens. First time it's been started in a uh, long time. There was nothing wrong with the silver ice that the bike was. After five and a half years, I just needed a change in color. And I think this candy apple red really sparkles out in the light. And I really like it a lot. In the end, I just want to thank Mike Black from Black Magic Customs for doing such a fantastic job on my Thruxton R. Thanks, Mike. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.